We are Children of Film coming at you with another review from our Melbourne get together. And uh, the next movie we saw over this weekend was My Cousin Rachel. Uh, My Cousin Rachel stars Rachel, get it, same name as the character, Rachel Weiss. She's uh, good. I like her. I, for the past few months, I've been falling in love with Rachel Weiss. I've seen her in a lot more things, and she's a great actress. So, yeah, it's like a period drama. What is it? England, early 1900s? 1800s. 18, 18, 1800s. Yeah, they're still um, chariot horse race. Finnick O'Dare, I mean, Slam Claff, Slam Claff, so this, he, oh, he gives her a bit of a slam, doesn't he? We oh, want, he does. uh, he's a bloke who is uh, in, he's, what, he's, he's, he's coming into an inheritance. Yeah, he's inheriting his family's fortune in their house, and uh, this, uh, he has a cousin who married his other cousin, and those two are also cousins, they're all three cousins, I guess this was okay back then, and um, basically his cousin, he gets some strange letters from his cousin saying, help, this woman's killing me. And then he dies, and then Rachel Ways comes into his life, and he's ready to kill her, and he's like, oh, I'm not letting my cousin Rachel, uh, you know, kill him and then kill me, you know. I'm and then they strike it. up a romance, and, uh, you know, he falls madly in love with her, yeah, starts trying to help give her the inheritance and stuff, and... Uh, we watched this movie, and we're not really 100% sure what it's about. Yeah, see... Um, you think with a movie like that, there'd be a big reveal or mystery, like, oh, maybe she is evil, or maybe she's not, or maybe he's crazy, or maybe the other cousin was crazy. There's n Don't go expecting that, because there's no big reveal or twist. It goes nowhere and kind of ends really too ambiguous, where I don't even know what the filmmakers think they were doing. It's kind of this, like, it's the same story as Uno. It's real, real ambiguous, and... Y there's no, there's no clarity. There's no closure. You don't know what was happening. There's no consequences. None of the characters learn anything. No arcs. Give me one of them, mate. No arcs. Um, this is how professional we are here. Um, um, I don't really get it. The movie's not very well paced. Um, I did like it, though. I was never bored watching it. I mean, we always start with the negatives for some reason because we're cunts, but... I liked the movie. I was never bored. Rachel Weiss was great. Easily the best performance of the movie. Sam Claflin was pretty good, showing he's more than just a pretty face because he has put on a little bit of weight. It's only PG, though, so the sex scenes didn't really give us much. Oh, no. There's one sex scene, and literally it's just him lying on top of her with clothing, <laughs> and, then it, and then it pans out and, like, goes pixelated, and you don't see anything. Uh, and then you see Which Sam, was disappointing. And then you see Sam Kaflin's bum. But um, oh, shout out to Seekum, the old butler bloke. Oh, he was a lad. He was a yes. fucking lad. He butler. he he was coming in hard with the zingers all movie. Um, um, the thing is, most a lot of this movie is just Sam Claflin, um, and that was not good because Rachel Wise brings the movie's entertainment and like whenever she's on screen you're it's like electric like you're watching her she's a really cunning character and performance and, and you don't know the movie's finished and I still don't know what her motives were and I don't know if that's a good thing or not I don't think the filmmakers know what her motives were like there's no closure you don't know what the characters wanted you don't know what they you, there's no arcs Jacob you don't learn anything about these people like they just again with Una I like this movie. I was never bored, but it has some fundamental issues. Whereas I think I don't think the characters have arcs, as you said. And uh, I don't know. I don't really have much else to say about my cousin Rachel. It's not. It wasn't all that memorable. But again, I'm giving it a three out of five. It was okay. Uh, it's worth seeing for Rachel's performance, which is very, very good. Yeah, I'm giving it a 3 out of 5 as well. Um, I was a little bit bored by it. almost fell asleep at one point. Then it picked back up. Whenever Rachel Weisz is on screen, I was engaged. I think the cinematography is pretty nice. Um, and, you know, some of the dialogue-heavy scenes were good, but overall the screenplay was pretty messy and sloppy. Didn't know where I wanted to go. Yeah, so uh, this is one of our uh, reviews from our catch-up, and uh, we'll see you soon with The House. Go check that out, because it might be up after this. I love film. Jaron loves children. Thanks for watching. <laughs> it's, it's whoever takes it.